Hello and welcome to Zero Cool Gaming and today's TV show review. Today we're going to be talking about a show called Star Trek. This show came out in 1966 through 1969. It is a sci-fi TV series and it is a rather old one. Now, what is this show really about? Well, really what it is, is it's just asking questions. And it asks some pretty hard questions about society, about ways of life, ideology, morals, values. You name it, they go there. And unlike the shows of today, they don't give you hollow, crazy insane answers. In fact, they don't try to give you any answers at all. What they do is they present to you both sides of the story and show you which side they chose. Period. They don't try to be biased. They don't try to, to lean your beliefs in one way or the other. They just show you the situation show you the choices they have, they choose one over the other, but they provide real honest arguments to both sides. That's what makes this show so great. Now, I can remember for many years, once a year there used to be the 24 Hours of Star Trek. And what I liked about it was they didn't always choose the same shows. They would choose, you know, 24 episodes one year and they would throw in some different ones the next year. And this would play on TV. I don't know how many years it played, but it played for quite a few years. And uh, every time that it would come on, I would watch the 24 hours of Star Trek. Now, as I got older, I was able to actually sit down and get the entire series, all the episodes, sit down and watch them all without missing any of them. And... While, though, it doesn't have the best, you know, like, special effects or the best, uh, um, acting in that respect, what it did have was honesty. It took an honest look at things. And that's what I liked about it. Whether I agreed with it or not, it didn't matter. Truly. I mean, it's just a TV show. But it at least took an honest look at the situations. It at least took an honest argument to both sides of any argument. And you can't say that about shows today. Shows today give you a, an obviously biased argument on one side... And a completely insane argument on the other. Because they want you to believe and, and lean toward the side that they're arguing for. Period. That's it. They don't want you to have any other thoughts otherwise. That does not make a good show. It never will. It never has. And it's never going to. Which is why I do not watch Star Trek today. Star Trek today is nothing but trash. Period. All of it. Don't care which one you pick. Um, and it started going downhill drastically. Um, I guess you could say that I, I stopped watching it and I'll, I'll never watch it again. With Star Trek Discovery, I watched like two or three episodes of Star Trek Discovery, and I was just like, was it Discovery? 
Oh man, I am so horrible with names. Uh, anyway, I watched like two or three episodes of one of the newer ones. And, uh, no, no, it wasn't Star Trek Discovery. That's the one with the female cat. Well, yeah, anyway. It's, it's the one that's, that's set before, um, I don't know. Anyway, it's supposed to be some scientific ship that could instantly transport from one place to another and it, it was it was trash the whole show was trash I've never watched Picard and I never will it's another trash show um, and I'm sure that whatever they come out with next will just be more trash they have destroyed the name of Star Trek absolutely and I think that was their intent I also avoided the new Star Trek movies. Um, I guess Star Trek Voyager and Deep Space Nine were the last decent Star Treks. And of course, Star Trek The Next Generation was one of the best that I've ever watched. And we'll get into these shows later. I mean, I'm, I have no doubt. Um, and the original, it, it is that. It is the original Star Trek. It's where it all started. Had they they stayed with that format of asking the hard questions and giving honest arguments to both sides, they could have continued doing Star Trek, you know, till the ends of time. And people would have liked it. But that's not what they chose to do today. Today, they've chose to take that in, in, insanity and crank it up to 10 because they've got an agenda to push. And damn it, they want you to be brainwashed to believe it. And they think that if they can use the, a popular name to draw you in, that they can brainwash you with their insanity. It doesn't work. I don't think it ever will. It may have worked, you know, 100 years ago. But it's not going to work today. I mean, it'll probably work on the on some people, but the vast majority just tune it out and say, I'm not watching just this trash. It's sad to see it happen, but, you know, what can we do? The best thing that I think we could do is just not participate with it. Do not fund it. Don't stream it. Don't pay for it. Don't. Engage with it, period. And the more and more that people do that, we can starve them out, put them out of business. You know, whatever it takes to end this insanity is what we need to do. It's entertainment. We don't have to engage with their entertainment, period. There is good entertainment out there, people. It's just not the junk they create today. That's one of the reasons I started this channel. Was to let people know what good entertainment is and what good entertainment looks like. And the original Star Trek is good entertainment. Um, yes, there are some, uh, you know, interesting things that occur during this show. But in truth, th this show, the original Star Trek, was was literally the, uh, how do you put that? It was treading new territory. You want to talk about diversity and inclusion? This show's got it all. And it was one of the first shows to ever do it. Everything from aliens to you name it. Uh, this show's got it. But it does it right. It doesn't shove it down your throat. 
and force you to believe whatever it is they're trying to push. It just shows you it's possible and gives you a few ideas on how to get there. Doesn't mean you have to agree with them and neither do they try to force you to. Anyway, that's my rant for the day and I hope you enjoy the rest of yours.